Will it sag? Today, we're gonna be testing red solo cups. So, what are the criteria? Well, you have to get seven hits to, to confirm if it's sackable or not. Okay, you guys heard that, seven hits. Once we're done testing the sackability, we'll rate it on a scale from one to 10 and discuss its tears and flares. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. Will, Will it sack? sack? Yes. yes. We got ten sacks with this red solo cup. Mm -hmm. And uh, what would you rate it on a scale of one to ten for sackability? Sackability, I'm gonna have to go with a mm, probably a six and a half. What about six you? Six and a half? I'd go a little bit higher, say a seven. Okay. And yeah. what about its tears and flares? Well, the tears, which are the negatives, are it's a little too light. It flies away in the wind, so you can't really play outside, but it's pretty hard outside. You got any flares? Uh, yeah, dude, this thing is so bright and easy to see when you're playing. And um, actually with the wind, sometimes it kind of hovers up in the, in the air a little yeah, bit. Yeah, dude, you have time to think. Yeah, you do, but it also has a lot of pop to it. Like you can see how flexible these cups are. So when it's going onto your body, it goes boom and springs up. It's actually a pretty solid product. Um, I'd definitely do it for a party or whatever, because if you don't have your sack on you, what do you do? Sack everything.